Come on. Here's the one. Come on. When I was down the pit like, and I got big children. See as my care a hobby, you know. So I got pigeons. I think then, pitmen was slaves. If I ever saw the daylight, he could be in first shift. Four o'clock in the morning, till dinner time. And he went to bed, got up, it was dark. It's very rare, you saw the sunlight. When you were down the pit, it gave you some like the fresh air and plenty of exercise and that, looking off them. And you always got the sun. It's a good hobby, still is. But uh, it's dying out now. It's a dying sport. Stan's getting warm. Right. What's that, Stan? Ordinary. Ordinary. Name money on it. All the pieces what goes away this week costs 180 just to go up with no money on it. But you win the prize money out of that, see? So if you want, if you fancy it to uh, win, you can put 50 pence on it and put a pound on it. There might be about maybe 40 or 50, 50 pence, there might be about 20 or 30 pulled to the pound. But the first one of them gets that money. Whoa! Morris? He's a good lad. He's a good mate. He always got a good love. He says things, what makes you love? Things like that. We've been close friends for years. But say we try and competition wise, beat each other. If he beats you, you just try again. If I beat him, he just tries again. I mean, we're it's opposition, opposition every bloody week, isn't it, Jack? Oh. But, I mean, if Jack wins, I'm out of the bloody moon. Boy, I say that, like, but I didn't really believe it, you know. Uh, I say that. Come on, 
get out. Settle down. Oh, well, there's two of you. I'll get this one. You can win as many of these short races as you like. Come on, I mean, I've won the short race, Selby, well, I couldn't tell you how many times. But if you win the big race and you like top the combine, your name's made. The classic race is Burgess, 560 mile. Now them's pigeons. Um, it's the one race I would like to win again. My first race was 1949. I come out of the army in 1955. Now we start to build this art pigeon cray. Um, the wood was only old wood from the old colliery houses, what we were pulling down from the pit. But ten years back, when this developer, local developer, wanted the land, they decided that they would get the Pigeon Cree listed, made a listed building. And then it started again, they wanted, he wanted the gardens back for development. The culture secretary has pledged his support to save the world's only listed pigeon cree and the allotments it stands on. It's hoped the minister's visit today will ruffle a few feathers and help the allotment holders win their long-running battle to save the gardens at Ryup. A Newcastle-based development company owns the land and wants to build houses there. Morris, who's 75 and recently suffered a heart attack, says he won't give up his campaign to save his Cree and the allotments. Give up water, will you? No, never. No, I'd rather drop dead in the garden do that. Leslie McNish, ITV Time Tees, Sunderland. It's been well publicised on television and all over. It allows there, as long as it's in good condition, they kind of pull it down. The developer kind of knock it down. It might be, if the worst comes to the worst, which we hope never happens, mind, this will be left standing and maybe the other gardens will be took off the lads. It'll be a, it'll be a sad day. A very, very, very sad dear, I'll tell the truth for that. I cannot race me pigeons if I'm on here by myself in the building round us. Say so you, you cannot race pigeons that way. Now I've brought it up. I've put it in a bottle. Now, and I'll, I'll give it there. The sesquit tablet. And I take a bite, and I'll skin it to ginger water, and I'll leave it there, and I'll contact you, and let you know if it's coming all right. Okay? That's the one I've just been under the chap about. It's the worst I've ever seen a pigeon. If you feel there. Oh, that's... damn me. What's your opinion? Oh. This old lady brought it to me house. Oh, little bugger. It's yeah, a foot, there's a sh been shot like. Oh, hey, man, Jack. No, the cat got on that. Oh, eyes dry. Cat's on it. But if you look on its eye, it's a lovely eye on it, mine. There's a bit of life in it. Oh, I definitely. Aye. A lovely eye on it, mine. A little spark of life. Put in egg. Intensive care. <laughs> well, it was a disaster last week. We lost all our best pigeons. Two combines was at Claremont and they clashed. She was me, me and me, me and Bert. Had her pulled up to win the race. But she was reported in Surrey. This is the one I was gonna send to Burgess. The big classic race. But I can't send her now. Because she's too tired. But I'm gonna send one. In this place. 
Now this one has already scored this year for us. So I'm gonna send that in its place. Well, you want a gun this way? I'll shake an age. You don't want a gun? Get the gun. <laughs> He's big and bonny. He's beautiful. How are you, you silly hard bugger? This hard bugger's fucking not a leg. Which always comes with him. No, oh, she's bonny old. Is that see Can I get any better? It's up to them, up to them now. You've got to build them up for this race. I mean, if, if, it's, if it's a fast deer, they're not taking so much out of them, they're not lost so much weight. But they're still, they've still got to fly 565 miles, see? I'm happy with them all, I'm happy with them. I wouldn't be sending them if I didn't fancy them. I wouldn't be sending them. No. Well, that's the handbook we get every year. As they come back to me loft, the position's are there. And I write the remarks. On the bottom, Kim Cunny. So I was pleased. And what I've got on the bottom there, Kim Crop. They swear. I got the wooden spoon I was lost. That's for this week. All I want's a bit look. You only got one? You only got three. All the pins you've got, you only send a one. Uh -huh. Okay, you only text one to win. <laughs> well, he's raging when he takes one to win, mate. Yeah, that's the end, next time. Oh, I see. Now I see. Pull over. Let me go. Let me have it. You know why you're there, man. Open the yours. Why am I using your plane? Check on. Hello, Bonnie. Let's get him. Over the water, the whole took in of it. That's Scotland, Yorkshire, and it's all worked out. And the best bird wins. Probably be oid liberated on the Friday morning. So a circle and then the law go away. And as on the, the road all they start to think and the goodness splits away. That's how you get your winners. My opinion. It's a highly developed instinct. But they're a marvellous animal then. Surely one. Jack, well, we've been mates all our lives, old man, Jackie. I mean, 
It must have been about 1952 when Jay came here. As I say, me and Jay, I think we've been here the longest. We've been here the longest. And I think we'll be the last ones to leave and all. That's a certainty, that. Oh, is out. I'll be lost without him. And he'll be lost without me. <laughs> That's what he says, like. <laughs> I mean, Jay's in poor health and all, you know. He got his lung took out. He worked at the pit. When he finished with the pit, he contacted this later cancer in the lung. Wow, we're all worried out of mind. I says, why how long have I got, like, you know, I says, tell us. He says, well, three to six months. I went, good God, you know, to myself. I come out with the lads, come here. I says, why you, it'll not be me. I was doing my exercises and that. Over there, there's some steps, have you seen them? About 60 odd steps of the football fields. I used to run up there as fast as I could. And I was 50, you know what I mean? Please yourself whether you believe it or not, I didn't care. That's what happened. So I had to go and back to the doctors and they cut the x rays and they looked up and they looked at us, you know. And the doctor says, are you sure we're here? John Surday's born. Listen up. I says, I am sure. He says, well, your lung has not collapsed. It's broken all right. And it's moved away from your heart and the growth. And I was in and operated on uh, two days after. That's what happened there. And I've been alive since. <laughs> he's, he's pulled around, like, and I think the, we're coming around the garden every day and having his pigeons, his good hobby. Um, that's what's pulled him around. Kept us alive, the pigeons. Kept us alive, huh? Something to look forward to all the time. So you can imagine if this happens where we get it took off us, what will we do? That's a third prize. That's a second. That's a sixth. Ah, oh, I've got a first. That's a first prize card. There's not many young lads coming into the sport now. Nah, there's no young lads in riot. To get the bands interested, I wish we could. I mean, we've got one or two, we've got the school interested in the gardens. I mean, we've got the teacher at the school. They've got it. She's going to fetch uh, a few bands up. How the moon, aren't they? How the moon. Which one should I get up to show you? That one. Which one? The white one. 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 Just rub it, just rub it. There we are. Touch your head, man. Sorry, not right, yeah. There we are. I think I'd better get them interested in coming around the garden regular. Getting to maybe pick a few pigeons out what they like and come around every day to see how, them's, how we can feed them and how these fly in them. And then maybe 
Tyson Martin to say why them two what you fancy you have fancy them going out for a race this week. Aye. Then they, they might get into it. But far as peace is concerned, I wish we had a few more youngsters in. Today, I think they might fly about, what, eight hours, Jack? Aye. If it's good weather, which it is. The, 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 the first eight hours would be cunny weather. Then it'd be four hours tomorrow if they're in England, wouldn't it? The curtains will be in half past eleven. Half past eleven. It's about tomorrow. I was living for the corners. Right. I wonder if that's carrying the lock. Aye. Wait, what if it's. See, he is. Oh, a land on the milk. Man's house. Where they get up early. <laughs> Mind the land in the fields. You want to land on the milk. Miles from anywhere. We had word that um, the bulldozers, the bailiffs was coming in, but nobody turned up. And if they want us off here, why they have to carry us off bodily? And I've got a big family. They'd be like declaring war. Honest. And we're not being awkward, we just, this is our way of life and this is where we want to end our lives. And that's all he is to it. Oh, look out, it's mine. First time across the channel. Alright. 
we're still waiting. I've getting them on. Getting one. Come here. Jack. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Could be third. That was torn up, man. Well, I've done very well. I've gotten the third position and I'll get some money in that. So I'm really happy. Oh, you've got to take the good with the bad. Oh, you've got more, I think you've got more bad luck than what you have there. Good luck, like. I'm not carrying the luck, that's all. But, uh, they'll come back. I think they'll, they'll come back. That's all you said. <laughs>